Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to a holiday edition of a Crystal Opening Commentary. I have so many submissions that I have yet to get to. A lot of you are being exceptionally patient, and I appreciate that. I'm only able to step aside and really make a few videos a day, and so I really try to be as efficient with my time as possible because I don't want to take too much time away from my family as I only get to see them once, maybe twice a year. So, with that being said, we have Santi55, or simply for the sake of this video, Santi's five and six star uh, crystal commentary. You can see just how many shards he has to open. 36,000 six star shards and 112,000 five star shards plus two featured crystals that are already there. So, uh, he sent this in a couple of videos, so we're going to watch them all and commentate them now. As always, I have not watched this before to keep my reaction organic, just as yours will hopefully be as you watch it. So, as a reminder, when you open 10 basic crystals, you should kind of expect one amazing god-tier game-changing champion on, on average. If you get anything over one, you are doing better than normal, and certainly we have seen far from amazing in this as well, where you can open 14 and not get you know, a, an amazing champion. Okay, he popped him. Let's stop this and evaluate. Mordo. I, I hate Mordo. I hate him. I hate fighting him, and I hate using him in battle. Um, he's trash. Cyclops, trash. Iron Fist, trash. Magic, great. Invisible Woman, very good. Okay, so if Magic is the best champ out of these 10, you still have a game-changing power control champion. And then, oh, Cole also? Ant-Man? And, oh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. you got Cole, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Magic in the same batch of 10. That's an incredible batch of 10. And, yeah, you got the usual suspects like Ant-Man. But Mr. Sinister, kind of cool. King Group, eh, deserves a buff. But, wow, that was an exceptional group of 10. Much better than average. All right, these four are probably going to be trash because of that. just how the algorithm works. Domino and Ghost? <laughs> what? Those are two lifetime pulls. Are these first dupes as well? Probably not. But, hey, we'll see. Ghost is your profile pick, bro. You awaken Domino. Is this an awakening of Ghost? Uh, probably Max Sig, actually. Either way, that's unbelievable. Popping four and getting Domino and Ghost. I don't know how you're going to beat that. Let's go to video number two and see if you indeed do. This is, uh, man, this is truly crazy. I don't remember a batch of 14 that I've commentated. And I now have commentated, I don't know, 50 of these. That was better than that. All right. I truly believe that the luck usually evens itself out. So, oh, Venom the Duck. Okay. But no featured champions. Those are awesome. Uh, Awakening of Morningstar. That really helps. And Venom the Duck. I still don't have Venom the Duck. But, man. Come on, YouTube. Bring that luck. Bring a featured champion. Trying to fake out the real. Popping these three. All right, Fishbowl. Finally got a featured champion. Other two. Usual featured trash. Although, I, I say this every time, people swear by Taskmaster, and I just am not patient enough and maybe even smart enough to uh, learn. And now our final, I believe, this is going to be the six stars, and he now has enough six star shards for four. Is he going to pop these too? That'd be pretty brave. Santi, are you brave? Are you going to fake out the reel? Oh, he's going to pop them. No way. I'm kind of impressed. Okay. Stealth, Spidey, and Thing, along with Nebula, who's a solid and uh, downgraded from satellite to cable. Wow. All in all, this was a fantastic opening. And because you popped them all, we were able to get all of these crystals in in under five minutes. Talk about efficiency. Santi... You got some incredible luck for the holidays, my friend. And I uh, I still can't believe that last batch of four basics netted you a domino and a ghost. You can literally go hundreds of five-star crystals without getting either. And to get them both in such a small sample size, team pop for the win, as Prof Box would say. Wow. Well, I am always honored that you all submit your crystal openings to commentate. I think it's really cool that uh, I gave you a, a shout-out on my channel 
you get some life, breathe some life into your crystal opening, and then you have this as a uh, time keeping sake. You know, you've got this this video link forever to go back and watch it and enjoy it. So it really is a win win all all the way around. It's one of my favorite things that I've done on my channel that I started doing in 2019, and I definitely will continue this trend into 2020. Have a great rest of your holiday, and congrats again, Santi. This was freaking awesome. I am stunned and honestly a bit jealous by your luck, but hey, man, you deserve it. Happy holidays.